Legs and iron, the feet part of iron and part of clay. His legs, iron, and his feet part of iron and part of clay. But listen to this. Thou sawest tell that a stone yes, was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon the feet that was on the iron and the clay, and break them in pieces. Then was the iron and the clay and the brass and the silver and the gold broken into pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer pressure. And the wind carried them away, and no place was found for them. And the stone that smoked its image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. What you saw, King Nebuchadnezzar, is this. You saw kingdoms. Yes, sir. You saw other governments that were going to be in operation in the earth. Amen. See, part iron means that some parts of the government are going to be strong, but it's also mixed with moral clay. Means that it's also going to be weak and yes, sir. Do you see any government in the earth today that got one part strong and one part weak? Are you under a government like that now? He said, but there is a stone that's been cut off a mountain, but not by the hands of a man. He said, in this stone, begin to grow and grow and grow and cover the whole world. He said, that's God's kingdom. That's God's kingdom. He said, well, come. Chief cornerstone that the builders rejected, they became the chief cornerstone of the building. The one that they rejected is now growing and growing and growing, and his government is going to move over. Every other government in the earth is the kingdom of God. That's the kingdom of God. Don't kill all the methods, it's the kingdom of God. He said, that's a kingdom that's coming. That's bringing in every government to where I was in. And it's going to take all of us. The whole of us. Everybody think kingdom is just a new testament. Oh, the whole Bible is about a kingdom. A kingdom. And it's about a family. It's about a kingdom established. A kingdom lost. And a kingdom restored. That's it.